Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert a VMware VMDK file to a VirtualBox VDI file. So that way if you have a virtual machine in VMware that you want to use in VirtualBox, you can simply just convert the disk and then create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox and attach the disk and be good to go. Okay, so we have this virtual machine here, Windows Pro 2. Here's the path to the virtual machine files right here. So I have this open right here. So here is the VMDK file that goes along with that virtual machine. So the tool we're going to be using to convert this VMDK to a VDI file is called QEMU. So it's just a zip file. You download and extract it. There'll be some DLLs and an executable file. So the way you use it is open a command prompt to this directory where you have the files extracted. So use an administrator command prompt. So let's do that. Okay, so that's on the D drive. So let's go to the D drive. So we'll change directory to that folder there. Okay, so here's the command we're going to use. So qemu-imgexe, which matches the executable here. Then convert-p, which shows the progress. So now we want to put in the path to the VMDK file in quotes if you have spaces. So here's the folder and then the VMDK file name itself and then the dash capital O for output to VDI, and then the path where you want to place the file that's outputted by this program. So I'm just gonna put it in the same uh, directory for simplicity's sake, but you'll probably want to export it to your VirtualBox folder wherever you keep your disk files, or create a folder for your new virtual machine first, put it in there, and then when you make the virtual machine, you could just uh, put the rest of the files in there. All right, so the same thing, the path with the file name, which you could actually change, you don't have to keep it the same, just make sure you change the extension to VDI instead of VMDK because we're converting to VDI. So we'll copy this command here, paste it into our command prompt, press enter. Okay, so when this gets to 100% it'll be done, so I'll pause the video and then be back when it's finished. Okay, so the process is complete, so let's check out our file here. So here's our VDI file, so this is 15 gigabytes. And the original is almost 15 gigabytes, so about the same size. Okay, so now we're going to go over to VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine and point it to this new disk image that we created here. Okay, so we'll click on New. We'll call this Imported. Then, of course, you could change the name. So one thing you're going to have to keep in mind is if you don't pick an ISO file, uh, you can't check the box to skip unattended installation so it's no big deal so we'll just pick a, a windows 11 iso file now we can uncheck the box change the hardware if you want i'm just going to leave the default since it's just a test so now rather than create a new virtual hard disk i'm going to use an existing one so this will open up the hard disk selector and you'll need to add it to your inventory here Okay, let's paste in our path here. Okay, so here is the VDI file we just made from the conversion process. Okay, so go ahead and click on finish. So here's our imported VM with our converted VDI file. So we'll go ahead and start it up and see what happens. Okay, it's going to ask you to boot from CD since we had to mount the uh, ISO file. Or you could just ignore it. All right, so I'm recording at a low resolution here, so things are going to look kind of large on the screen. Okay, so it's getting the new virtual hardware ready. Okay, so we got our screen here. Okay, so one thing you're going to have to deal with if you're doing this with Windows 11, uh, since it needs the uh, TPM and the encryption, that when you import it into a new environment, it's going to think the hardware has changed and you're going to have to reset your PIN. But this is just a matter of signing in with your Microsoft account, recreating your PIN, then you should be good to go. And then, by the way, this disk image from VMware 
that we convert was actually encrypted as well. So this actually was able to convert it even though it was encrypted. All right, so once again, just find the location of your virtual disk file in VMware. Download the program here. Extract the zip file. Then open a command prompt to this location here. Then run this command here. So I'll put this example in the description so that way you could just copy it and just change the path and the file names to match your environment. And then I'll also put a link in the description where you could download QEMU and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.